Good day everyone! For today's video, we will explain the different facilities and equipment of basketball. So, let's start! What is basketball? Basketball can be played with very little equipment. That is why it has become one of the most popular sports to play worldwide. Although the strongest as and best known league is in the United States. Basketball is a popular sport in every continent and it is still growing. Basketball can be played outdoors on asphalt and dirt or indoors on wooden floors. At ngayon naman po ay dadako na tayo sa equipment pagdating sa paglalaro ng basketball. So first nga po ay ang ball. Ang ball ay isa sa pinakamahalagang equipment pagdating sa paglalaro ng basketball. So you'll need a ball to play the game. Nowadays, basketballs are made with synthetic materials such as rubber, polyester, and nylon in combination with leather. In the NBA, the pressure of the ball must be between 7.5 and 8.5 pounds per square inch. The size of the ball measures 29.5 inches around in circumference. Next naman po ay ang basketball jersey, na kung saan ito ang sinusuot ng mga manlalaro pag naglalaro ng basketball. So, the jersey is important to a player's identify on the court. It includes your name on the back and numbers on both the front and back that identify who you are. On the front of a jersey is your team's logo and branding. Next is the backboard. An official NBA backboard is made of transparent glass. But, a wooden or metal backboard will work as well. In the NBA, the backboard measures 6 feet wide and 3.5 feet tall. If you want a fancy backboard, you can get one that lights up with red lights too much when the shot clock runs out of time. A backboard set can be bought and installed at home in the driveway or in a backyard. Next, the basketball hoop. There are two types of games you can play. If you're playing pick-up basketball, you can play half court with one hoop instead of full court with two hoops. Basketball hoops consist of a backboard, rim, net, and metal post that hold them up in the air. Basketball courts always have hoops on them. Otherwise, they wouldn't be basketball courts. Next is basketball whistle. If you're a coach or referee, you'll need a whistle. Referees may blow their whistles to signal a dead ball, a foul, or a violation, or if a player steps out of bounds. In practice, coaches may blow their whistles to start or stop a drill. Give a command or just to gather the players. Basketball whistles are relatively cheap and some come with strings to hang around a coach neck or can be attached on a keychain. Next is the basketball shoes na kung saan ito ay nagbibigay protection sa mga malalaro sa kanilang mga paa. For someone planning on playing basketball, the shoes are the most essential piece of equipment. Although basketball can be played in regular sneakers, a good pair of shoes will give you an edge on the court while providing extra safety. Their stability will allow you to move laterally and perform quick cuts to beat defensive players. Next is the basketball net. Basketball nets 
are an essential tool in basketball, while they are not required if being played recreationally. Almost every basketball rim will have a net attached to it. Hearing the swish of a ball going through the net is one of the most satisfying sounds in sports, and there is a lot to be learned about them. Next is the basketball scoreboard. A scoreboard is a large board for publicly displaying the score in a game. Most levels of sport from high school and above use at least one scoreboard for keeping a score, measuring time, and displaying statistics. At ngayon naman po ay sa facilities naman tayo ng basketball. Sa parts of basketball court. Free throw lane. The free throw lane is a rectangle in team's front court and used to line up players during a free throw. The standard free throw lane is 19 feet long by 12 feet wide. The player shooting the free throw stands at the top of the lane, while other players stand in mark spots along each side of the lane. On offense, players may not stand in the lane for more than 3 seconds unless they are making a move to the basket with the ball. In the NBA, defensive players may not be in the lane for more than 3 seconds unless they are actively guarding an offensive player. The free throw lane is sometimes referred to as the paint or the key. Three-point line. The three-point line is a semicircle that surrounds the basket around on each team's sides of the court. Players who stand behind the line and make a field goal are given three points instead of the standard two points for a regular field goal. Sidelines and baselines. The sidelines and baselines of a basketball court mark the outside boundaries for out-of-bounds purposes. The sidelines run the length of the court and the baselines are behind each basket. Center jump circle. The center jump circle is where the game action starts and has a radius of 6 feet. All players other than the two jumpers must stand outside the circle until the ball is tipped. The center jump circle is not used at any other point in a game other than the opening tip and if a tip is needed to start an overtime period. Division line. The division line is a line running the width of the middle court that divides into two equal sections.